What up? Hey, everybody. Tyler here with Tarver Cards. I'm so excited. If you're joining us live, that's awesome. If not, you can still watch. I got Finn Spin here with me. Finn, what are you working on? A little Lego four wheeler. There's the camera right there. It's got a little chicken nugget right here. We can look right here. You was looking at yourself. Okay, that's fair. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting together, uh, we're going to look at my PC basketball binder and we're going to be adding some cards to it. I got a few stacks. Got a few stacks of a cards. License plate. Got a license plate on that Lego. And uh, we're going to be doing it. I'm going to oh. talk cards, throw it in the chat. Any questions, thoughts? Love to hear about your PC stuff. And I'm going to give you your thoughts on why I'm keeping this stuff and why it's going in the binder. What up, Carter? What up, Dino Dab? Hope you are doing well. Hope you're having a good day. Everybody I like feeling dabbing. good? You like dab? Show me dab. What's up, Nod Madden? Good to see. Good to see you. What's up? So excited. Dab on him. You can't see it. No. Why? There we go. There you go. It's pretty clean. Dab on him. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through my binder. If you want to throw in some thoughts, questions, uh, I love to talk. Just talk cards. It's a new series. I want to start. We go through and put cards in some PC binders and just chat about it. Uh, on the Jackson card, did the guys in the back kill their parents? Carter, yes, they actually did. This Mark Jackson, there's like three cards that are popular from that set because it was like one of the overprinted sets. Michael Jordan cards, which he's got two of them. Then there is the Sam Vincent card. When you have that, don't you, as a PSA 8? Yes. It's when Sam Vincent, he played for Orlando, and Michael Jordan is getting dunked on or layups going on him. And he's wearing number 12 because someone stole his jersey. And then this one because those two dudes right there, I think Menendez brothers? Yeah, they killed their parents and then used the money to go to a Knicks game and sit courtside. So super creepy and super weird. Car, right, di car they driver, do? they killed their parents. It was very bad. Don't Why? do that. Please don't do that. Um, car driver said, I just added number 306 to my Kobe binder. Uh, 54 more to go. Ooh, okay. So you're doing 350 cards in your Kobe binder. That's awesome. I love that. Um, how much is the card value? Uh, I mean, you can get it at shows. You know, if you get lucky, you can get it for a couple bucks. Usually it's around $5, give or take a few bucks. So it's about a $5 card, I would assume. And there's people that want to overcharge for it. But all right, here, sit back real quick. And that's just. Ooh, EFS. How much is your Patty? Yeah, that's a Harlem Globetrotter. That's actually a pretty good card. How did he do that? What do you think is the most valuable card on this page, Finn? Uh, what do you guys think? Probably that one or that one. Ooh, great, great choice. That's about a 5 to $10 card. So Jordan Poole rookie, Prism rookie. Uh, one of my best investments. I bought like, I don't know, 30, not like 40 something. Like and then we got this. This is a second year Kobe Bryant Flair medal. It does actually does pretty well. I think it sells, I mean, at least 30, probably more. This is actually the most valuable card on the page. It's a Kobe Bryant rookie card. It goes anywhere from 80 to 120. So it's pretty cool, right? You like that? It's a Tim Duncan rookie. That's the most underrated, like cool looking cards. That and the um, Tracy McGrady from that year. Super cool. All right. Can you stand up so I can. Dad, how did they pay to kill their parents? They didn't pay to kill. They did kill their parents, and they used their parents' money to go to the Knicks game. Please don't do that. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, it's not good. They're really bad dudes. They're in jail. Hey, can you scoot back? I want to. Um, I want to go here. That's weird. I can't use my right arm. That's weird and creepy. Weird and creepy. But it, but you got a good seat. Okay. But you got a good seat. That's right. Okay. Um, EFS pulled a honeycomb Pat Mahomes out of a mosaic. How much does that thing go for? That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, here we go. This is one of my favorite Kobe Bryant rookie cards. The game used patch, Iverson, little Bill Walton rookie. That's actually like a 50 or it used to be a $50 card. I don't know what it's worth now. David Lee and Draymond Green patch cards. Hey, shh, stop making noises, little man. Okay, on here, uh, probably the Beam Team. These are all pretty cheap. The Beam Team is probably a good one. That's a Kevin Garnett rookie. It's can be Kevin Garnett. Did I ever get that Shaq? Uh, which Shaq? Not Madden. Which Shaq are you talking about? We'd love to know what you're talking about. Oh, you're, are you the person that I bought that Shaq in Fuego from? Uh, it came in the mail today, I believe. I haven't picked it up. That's a Vince Carter rookie card. If you ever see that, it's not – a lot of these, it's like it's barely you – can, you can barely see where it says rookie card, so you can pick that up. Pretty yeah. cheap. That's an Isaiah Thomas I wrote on you. autograph. Okay, well, don't do it. Not funny. Just kidding. I did this. Okay, well, don't do that. <laughs> thought he wrote on me with a Sharpie. There's a – D-Lo patch card. I paid too much for that. It was like five or ten bucks. Still overpaid. A lot of these cards I picked to go in here. There's a little KD. I overpaid. I bought KD like at the height of what he was doing. Oh, here's another one you can be on the lookout for. So that this is the Topps archive set. They're not rookie cards, but they like reprinted famous, you know, great basketball players and then redid them on famous cards. This is the gold set. So there's like a little Topps archives gold basketball there. 
And the MJ, we just sent one off for grading. The MJ goes like five bucks, five to 10 bucks if it's like the main one, but then you get like 30 to 50 out of the other ones. So keep an eye out for that if you're ever looking in some dollar bins. Love these cards. That's a lot, one of my favorite sets. In 96, they did some reprints on that. Um, and that's the Stockton Gold. Does that say that. Clay Thompson? Yeah, it's Clay Thompson Clear Shots. Okay, let's not move it. <laughs> okay, if you want to stand over here, if you're just going to be loud, you can sit over there. EP, I throw him in. A lot of players that I went, oh, that's a Rick Barry auto. I forgot that was in there. I might need to put that in a slab. I'm trying to put more what? of my autos in slabs. Where are the Jokic? I don't have any of his. I'm severely, like I almost bought a PSA 9 silver a while back, but I didn't. Um, that's a D Wade rookie. It's really affordable. And that's his European rookie card. Then there's the three. I don't have LeBron in here, but those are the other three rookies from the year. A little Westbrook rookie, A D rookie. Then we're gonna roll in here. That's an Iverson. I think, yeah, that's an Iverson rookie. You can tell it's up there. It says rookie. What up, card hub? How you living? Uncanny. I do need to get some Jokic. Well, it's, it's the worst time to buy them right now because you know they're in the playoffs still. If, in this summer, I'm gonna try to get one. I want to get one of each of the top 75. I'd like to get each of them autographed. That would be sick. Um, I got a few Draymond jerseys. I got a really sick Draymond jersey. I think I put it on a short video recently. There's a Ray Allen Chrome rookie. That's an auto. Tony Kuko. Ooh, I love this set. This EX die cut. It's pretty sick. I think it's 97. It's 97, but Don't it still counts. About my four and he wants y'all to like his. Hit, hit like for his four-wheeler. Um, this is a Dennis Robin of this. This is a 97 of this, but it still counts as like the Kobe Iverson Nash rookie years. I love that. Flair Metal is one of my favorite sets. D Wade rookie. There's that's actually a pretty good one. I think it's like a, it used to be like fifty dollar car. I don't know what it's worth now. A little Dirk rookie there. They got a Corliss Williamson auto. I'm trying to just point out there's a uh, Elvin Hayes autograph. A lot of that set still had autos. I don't think there's anything crazy on there. Oh, there's a David Vaughn auto. Don't know who that dude is. Jordan Bell. I bought a bunch of his cards. You know, any of these Warriors rookies, I win a bunch. Uh, thank you so much. Not mad. I appreciate you saying that. Tua. Warriors going to win, Uncanny? Man, I hope so. I mean, the it's all kind of crazy with the Bucks. Be careful. Don't knock all these over, please. Um, I got all the cards stacked. With, you know, everything's kind of all over the place. There's a Paul Pierce rookie. All over the place. Anybody could win. Anybody could win right now. You know, it's anybody's game. That's a Derrick Rose, but it's also a Russell Westbrook rookie. So those are pretty cool. There's a little net burners. I love that net burner. Super cheap net burners. You can get even the Kobe one of that for like 15, 20 bucks. I need to get it. I don't have it. It looks like an actual net. It's die cut. looks sick. There's a Shea. Shea. Dad, rookie? someone yes. said I love your card. They, I think they meant card. Okay, they like, were they're probably not talking about my pre. Ball Ball had a great season. Yeah, well, you know? He, well, he really they said, did. See, There's a Steve Kerr auto. Uh, they said C-A-R. I know, but I That's think they card. meant I, I think they meant card. Look at those Connellys. I did it with the Why Durant's. Do I was they like, have a D? They, they were probably in a hurry. Do you have the OK Jordan Fleer? Yeah. Yeah, I got it right there. So I got it as a Beckett seven and a half. So here's my Jordan rookie card that I probably show everyone too much. Please don't bump did that card. Did you show them that? No, I didn't show them. I can. There's a, this is my Steph Curry. Night night. That's probably auto, his favorite card. Ten out of ten. Actually, did I did my top twenty countdown and it was my favorite card. Let's go. There's another. There's a go. Oh, I love that card. Look at that. That's a beautiful card. Underrated card right there. Right Sushi boy, what'd you say? No way for. This is. Hey buddy, please don't yell. I'm trying to talk. I'm not. I'm saying. Okay. Song. Okay. Good. Please don't yell. Ready? This right here. This. I don't know what that Dallas Mav. Eighty five Dallas Mav. I was only a few months old. I wonder what that's from. Uh, this Kobe Bryant card, this is a rookie card. A lot of people forget that. And also look at him. He's wearing a cast on his hand. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. See? Yeah. Look at him. He's wearing a cast right there on his hand. This is a rookie card. Everybody forgets. You can get it for like 10 to 20 bucks probably. Why is he wearing a cast? Uh, I don't know. I, think he, I guess he broke his hand. That's a cool Naval Academy, David Robinson. I have no idea any story about it, but I thought it was pretty sweet. So I'll put it in there. Love that look. I just love like the backgrounds. The way they used to do cards hit different. Look, K-Love rookie. He did well the other night. Might be time to pull that out and sell it. Steve Nash Chrome. We got a Carl Anthony Towns rookie, a D Lo rookie. There's a Westbrook Love and Gallinari rookie. That's sick. A lot of these I forget I have because I don't look this binder enough. That's why I'm trying to start this new PC series. I hope later in the video I can see your son doing the gritty. You want to show him the gritty? Go do the gritty. Right. Do the gritty. Oh, they can't see. They can't see. Ah. Well, I can't see it anymore. There you go. Show him. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Looking clean, babe. Looking clean. There's a little Kobe rookie. It's got a lot of snow. 
Uh, there's a press proof Draymond at a 199. There's a Bird, Jay, and Magic, a 96 reprint of that. Tim Duncan, oh, I love that card. Look at that. They were like trying to get his attention on a free throw, so they were like shaking those yellow uh, balloons. Love that. Those little finest Magic. Who else we got? There's a Kobe rookie up there. It's the UD3. It's got a lot of snow on it. Harlem Globetrotters. There's Jason Kidd rookie. There's a silver Larry Bird. First, first year prism. That's pretty sweet. You should go to the Dallas Card Show. They have some heat. I picked up a, a MA rookie card auto. Who is that? Um, also, yes, I, I, they got it in a couple weeks. I'm thinking about going. Like it's like three week, third week of May. I'm thinking about going just for Friday. Um, there's like a couple shows. I want to make some videos. I usually get some good videos at car shows. So here's some big cards. I love the big cards. So I toss those in there. Daniel Gafford Auto didn't know that. He's from Arkansas, so I toss that in there because I'm from Arkansas. Shea rookie. Who else we got in here? You tell me if anybody asks a cool question, we can click it. All right. Um. Do you guys – hey, in the in the chat, what is the last card show you went to that you really enjoyed? I'd love to know. Then I got a bunch of these star sets. I bought these off a of dude, and so I just was like, I'll put them in the PC. So a bunch of star sets, not into the, any of the crazy stuff, but still stars cool. Love that I dynamic like that Rodman. One. I like that. Which one, the Admiral? Yeah. I hope later in the video I can see your son doing the gritty. We yes. tried. We tried to show it. You can see it. That's an old, old card. Yeah. That was probably a pretty good one. I colored this as a joke for a video. It's a Robin Lopez. Yeah. And that's a Joe Johnson rookie jersey. Yes, sir. No, but I am. Why are you mad? Pika Two! <laughs> He's pretty mad. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Minneapolis car show. I heard that's good. You know what I heard is a really good show? The Chantilly show. I heard that was awesome. Everybody that goes to that says it's just, oh, there's a Kavon Looney silver rookie. That's a good one right now. Dude, it's hooping. Should have graded that with my last SGC order. Little little honor roll, Jason Williams. I love the honor roll because I have I do education stuff. It's my main job, and my membership thing for my education stuff is called the Tarver Academy Honor Roll. So whenever I see honor roll stuff, I toss it in there. Um, I've never. Let me pull some of these. I can pull you up. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see. Brandon said, "I've never gone to a car show." What? What would a car show? Would I recommend? Pretty much any close to you. And there's not a ton of bad ones. Just find a good table. Like, there's some good tables, there's some bad tables. So you just got to find the right table. Yeah. Like, Candy Swag said, going tomorrow to a local show. In you live in Denver, so you're a Jokic fan. Okay. How do you think you guys are going to do? Picked up an RPA Moses Moody. I don't even think I have an RPA. I, ha I have one, but it's not game worn. It's not a game worn jersey. What are my thoughts about Steph Curry? He's a GOAT. Top 10 of all time. I hope he wins another championship so he can be top 5 of all time. I love that. I love Steph Curry. He's one of my favorite players. It's like Jordan, him, they're my two favorite players. Alonzo Mourning, rookie autograph. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nom, nom. What? Finn. Finn! <gasps> That's your name. Nom, nom. Yep. Nom, nom. There's a... Pika! Okay, okay. All right, we're good on the Pikachu. <laughs> Little Shaq Destiny. Nothing crazy in here. I love this EX series. So anytime I see those, I grab those. There's a Damon Sotomayor autograph. Look at that. Out of 1,050. Why do they pick random numbers like that? What? Okay, so now that we've got some empty spots, look at that. Told you I pick up the EXs. JJ Reddick rookie. Now that we've got some empty empty spots, I'm gonna start tossing them in. We got a little Bill Russell, love that card, and then we're gonna toss in a Patrick Ewing. I like picking up cards of players wearing jerseys you didn't know that they wore. You didn't know they were on that team. So right here, there's a Patrick Ewing wearing a Magic. Did you know Patrick Ewing played for the Orlando Magic? In the comments, what is your favorite player? What is your favorite player, but like in a jersey that you like that looks weird? You know what I mean? That looks weird. Like I've got this Hakeem going yeah. in there. Hakeem Someone playing for the Raptors. Who's yeah. The better coach. Curry Let me see. or LeBron. In your opinion, who's the better goat? Curry or LeBron? Right now it's LeBron. Uh LeBron's all-time scoring leader. Um, they got the same amount of championships. LeBron's just got a longer and more decorated career because he started playing six, seven years before Curry. So we'll see. When they both retire, that's a great debate. I got a rookie. Sauce Gardner. Auto. Woo, that's probably a pretty good one. I pulled one of his and gave it to a kid at a show. Do I collect uh, baseball cards? Anything else? Yeah, I've got a whole set. I'm going to do a baseball card PC binder series as well. I've got to do that coming up. So what NBA team do I like? I'm a Warriors fan. I like the Warriors. Uh, I, there's not any teams I dislike. So it's like nobody I'd be upset because there's usually players on every team I enjoy. Um, but the Warriors are my favorite team. For show. Sure. 
Plus, I got a lot of the rookies, so it'd be great. Rodman playing for the Spurs. Ooh, that's a good one. He played there for a while. Rodman on the Lakers or the Mavs? Oh, look, somebody just said that. Rodman on the Lakers or Mavs? Shaq for the Cavs. That would be sick. Can you do a live baseball? Yes, I will. I'm going to do it for all. I literally just sorted out my PC stuff to put in the binder, so I will do another one. So hit that subscribe button if you want to join. All right, look, we tossed in this Sean Tarver. I forgot to tell you, Finn. You picked out this card from your set to put in. I Before I submitted it, I looked at yours, and I had one that was in better shape, so I switched it out. So I forgot to tell you that. So there's Akeem wearing a Raptors jersey. We're going to toss that in. And then we got that one. We lot of, got a little Grant Hill images. Thought I'd throw that in there. And then we're going to throw a Steve Nash. Love these black diamond cards. They're pretty sweet. So we're going to toss that in there. Ooh, a little Kyle Lowry, rookie. And then a gold Scotty Pith. Then the Shaq medal. That's a pretty good card. A little Steph on there too. That is a Kobe Bryant rookie card. It usually does pretty well, but that was in a binder. I bought in a lot and it was like pretty jacked up. Like it had, it had like some like, spilt all over it and so they were kind of jacked so i put it in the binder i didn't put it in the, my kobe rookie case there's a dennis rodman 75th and then we got the jp that's the winter edition you can see all over it um what's my best ever card my two most valuable are probably this one the jordan rookie or the steph night night out of 10 those are my two most valuable probably this one's my best pickup ever i bought this for 35 bucks it's a gold curry it's not numbered but there's only five of these gold and uh it's Valued at like estimated like a little over two grand. That says my name. I know that's their name. And then we got Alan Iverson. No, it's, it's my name. Where? Oh yeah, Finn. That's what I just said. <laughs> Can I show some football cards? Do you have any? And do you have any? Make a video. Yes, I'm gonna do. I've I only have... got a few, but I'll toss them in with uh, the football binder. We'll do that another day. I'm gonna do it some other. Ooh, I love this set right here. Look at that. That ex set. Any of those die cuts are dope. Then we got the Dwight. Look at this. We're gonna make a little Warriors action on this page. So we got a little Draymond Green. We got a slam Steph blue, pretty sweet. And, I and then we got a Steph a here. To buy four and then we got a Steph here. That's good, Finn. It's All right, one, and then the koozie chrome, and then Brandon one, Ingram two, Four. Okay, let's see. Yeah, boy. My biggest pull of basketball is John Morant rookie card auto relic PC one of one. How much is that worth? That's got to be worth a ton. I know it's come down a little bit, but it's still got to be worth a lot. When I get older, I'm going to sell all my cards. Uh, I mean, I'm 37, so I'm pretty old now. But if I ever – would I sell – I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm always open, you know. I, I don't mind. There's a FLIR medal. I don't have that cyber medal. This is the only one I have of it, and it is ratchet. I should grade that. Maybe I should grade, like, try to send in 50 um, SGC ones and see if I can get all ones out of it. That might be kind of cool. So we tossed the Iverson Slam, the Purple Curry My House, and the Jordan Pool Red, White, and Blue. Then ah! we're going to toss in some of these. Draymond Green's going to be joined by a little John Stockton. Those are some larger cards, but that's a John Stockton. Then we got a well, My House. Well, because I can't use my arm. Bo Jackson. Bo knows, baby. And that counts because he has he's got a basketball. Please don't push those, buddy. Please. Then we oh look, speaking of, look, there is Rodman wearing a Lakers jersey in one of the greatest sets ever. I just sent in a Jordan of this set to get graded with SGC. So really excited about that. Got a little KD Revolution. Thought that was pretty clean. Then um, let's see. We got Brand said, "What is when is your next card pack openings?" I don't have any packs to open right now. Um, I actually just took a bunch of wax. Little Kevin Durant took a bunch of wax into my booth at the Cotton Shed, and so I'm like, I just went and kind of raided my mini storage, and I was like, "Why do I have all this wax?" And so I tossed it in there, make a little extra money on the side. Toss that up there. I do want to start doing some more live shows on whatnot. So if you want, I'll only toss that link up there. If you have never signed up for whatnot, this is this is they're not paying for this. I'm just throwing it out there. I've got a few cards listed if you want to buy them. And if it's your first purchase on whatnot, if you go through my link, it's on tarvercards.com. You get fifteen dollars off your first purchase. So no pressure. Do whatever you want. Follow your heart. There's a little Charles Barkley, Hardcore Heroes insert, and then we got a Jam City Shack insert going and joining them. There's another Sean Tarver. Look. Sean Tarver. That's our last Where? name. Right there. Look, Sean Tarver. Guard. What's up? No, it's not junk wax. It's all like from the past few years. I picked up, like, you remember when it used to be like super hard to pick up retail? Every now and then, like somebody would leave a couple on the shelf or I'd catch a restock. So I would try to buy, you know, a few of them, a few retail. And they're like, I'll just put them away. But I don't, what am I going to do with them? I don't want to do breaks or anything like that. And so. I just decided to take them up there and put them for sale in my booth and see what happens. Little Warriors Festus Azili. 
I don't think that's a rookie. It's a red out of four ninety nine. I'm pretty sure Zach gave it to us. What's up? Shout out Zach. Yeah. Little Kobe, and then I got the Andrew Wiggins. Yes, sir. Are these office characters? Yes, those are office stickers. Probably not the best time. Well, Iverson, Rick Barry, Chrome, assistant to the regional manager. It's a joke from the show. Then we got a Pat Peyton, a little three D, and then two key ingredients are going in there. <clears throat> Sam said, "What I do for my real job? I work in education." So I travel around and speak at conferences and I train teachers. And so I do, I wrote like a book. I don't think I have it around me anywhere. It's over there, but I wrote a book, how to be a baller teacher and I travel and do keynotes and speak and stuff like that. So, Hey, thanks. What? Or thanks. What? Thanks. Egg, ed egg edits. I appreciate you watching the videos. That's super cool. Um, you know, it's not, it is not lost on me how much, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. Like that means the world to me. So thank you for watching and, you know, like and subscribe and whatever. I appreciate it. And I, I genuinely do. I genuinely do. JTV Shark said, I bought a white 2021 Select Justin 7 out of 35. Yo, that's got to be like, that's got to be worth something, right? Is that worth something? That's a, that sounds like a big card. That sounds like a big card. Um, got a little Gafford in there. I pretty much, you know, I throw in PCs like LeBron, Iverson. There's Garnett. That's a cool Garnett. Draft Gems. That's his rookie. Uh, there's, that's a second-year Durant, but he's in his Sonics outfit. So I was like, got to toss that in there. Little Gafford. He's from Arkansas. Then we got Orlando Magic. Little Penny. It's a clean card. Let's see. Um, let's see. Then we got a little Anthony Hardaway. Little Penny. Top's finest. Little Penny sets coming in here, making an appearance. Look at that. I bought this ratchet looking Marvel's Luca. It is like printed off ridiculous. I bought that on Mercari. I only go to Mercari when I'm like excited to get ripped off. Hey dad. So yes, sir. What what do you say whenever the whenever whenever a dog poops poops on your bed? What do I say when a dog no, poops on my you, bed? What do you do? What do you look like whenever a dog poops on your bed? I don't know. Oh, this is the face I'll Jim, classic Jim, classic Jim. Let's see. I can. Do I have a rookie auto from Luca? No. Curry, I have autos, but no rookie autos. LeBron, no rookie autos. Zion, I've been trying to pick up the fresh paint because I'm trying to collect that whole set, and that fresh paint goes like six to eight hundred. I'm gonna try to pick it up this summer if I can. I do have the fresh paint auto of Jaw. It's a PSA eight, so it's the only one of that I have. Thank you for asking. Favorite card box. Um. I mean, my favorite set is probably like an EX set or like the 96 EX is one of my favorite sets. I'm trying to collect all the inserts from it. I've already collected the whole base set. And so that's one of my favorite sets that I'm trying to, to get. Tossing, this is the gold version of this. I got that from Zach for sure. I know that. So let's see. That downtown T-Lot, dude, that downtown T-Lot, that is the, uh, it's not the most expensive card I've ever pulled. It's the most expensive card I've ever pulled at a retail and the most expensive card I've ever pulled for myself. I have pulled a, the most expensive card I've ever, ever pulled was I did a, a collab with Drip and they sent me a hobby box of the like Zion Jaw rookie year. And I pulled in the giveaway, I pulled a Jordan Poole, my favorite young player, Jordan Poole, true gold out of 10 rookie card. It was the biggest pool, and I, I gave it to the dude. Didn't even dude. I had to like track him down. He didn't even know he won, and I'm pretty sure I, the rumor is he sold it. I tried to buy from him. He wouldn't give me a price, and then the rumor is he sold it at the national for like eleven or twelve grand. Yeah. So someday, you know, I can't buy it unless Jordan Poole's career flames out, yeah. which I don't want, obviously. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Welcome, to, welcome to Chili's. Go give that to Titus. He would want that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Little yeah, Shaq Keymaster. Says, Girl, yeah. Thicker than a bowl of paper. Yeah, don't repeat that. Sorry, I bought a bunch of stickers. My daughter did, and they're all like memes and vines and stuff like that. So, yo, sorry about that. So that's probably my favorite box. Tell us some Iversons. Got a Shaq rookie, a Kemp. That's a, just a sweet looking card. The first ever like pair of like cool like signature tennis shoes I ever bought was I say I bought my parents bought me it was like fifth grade. I got a pair of Sean Kemp uh, shoes, the one with the zigzags. I I need to get those as an adult. I've, I've got to pick those up. Favorite modern day baseball player? I don't have, I don't follow a lot of modern baseball, but 
you know, Acuna seems cool. Um, I like, let's see, I'm trying to think. You know, I was really big in the 90s. I sort of followed it because I lived in Georgia, and so I love the Braves. And so I was a big, big – so, like, all my favorite baseball are, like, 90s Braves, Jackie, and Hank Aaron. Look at that. That's an old-school Pete Maravich. That's that's a pretty good card, I think. Dad, yes, sir. Sure is for sale. Does it say for sale? Oh, did you slap a sticker on me? How did you know? There's a little Iverson wearing the Nuggets jersey. So I was clearing out – I had a bunch of Iverson, like, base cards from different years, so I pulled them out. I would love to get – does anybody out there have an Iverson? Hey, please don't do that, buddy. Well, you Put, got three. On you. I know. Please don't. Um, does anyone out there know of a card of Iverson wearing a Memphis Grizzlies jersey? I would love to know that. Yeah, do I like ready. DeMar DeRozan? Yes, I do. And I've got one of his rookies in this binder. There's a Pete Maravich. Okay, right? I think it's, is that 79 or 80? I think it's 1980. This is a little Shaq rookie. It's hard to tell because it doesn't say rookie on it. That's a Shaq rookie card. I've got a Shaq binder that I put his rookies in, but there's a Nate Archibald. That's actually, I think that one's worth a little bit. It's like a $10 to $20 card, I want to say. Could be a guess. What's my best baseball card? Ooh, good question. I've got a Chipper uh, rookie autograph, PSA 9. That's probably like a $100 card, $150. I'm trying to think. What is my best baseball card? Oh, no. I've got some older cards. My best and most expensive baseball card. This is one of them, but it's not the. This is a Satchel Page right here. Satchel Page, rookie card, 1953 tops. Um, this one's worth about four to five hundred. But I'd say my most expensive one is my Roberto Clemente SGC one. That is my most expensive. Look at that. That's a cool card. They just like put all their heads on there. Kind of hey, creepy. Yes, sir. Can you just put a, a dancing chicken? Can I put a dancing chicken yes. on what? On, on what you're doing right now. I don't want to put a dancing chicken on this. I want to. Little Tyrese, and, you did it with Ezra at the card show. and JP. You, she said, oh no, I can't edit it in. I can't edit it in because I'm not editing. You bought that white. How much? Oh, it's about forty bucks. Okay, little profit. You know, wait till the year. Justin Jefferson is a great. Any of the best receiver in the league. I don't watch a lot of them, a lot of football, but I listen to a lot of podcasts, and they said he's the best in the league. Have we gone to a Warriors game and Warriors in six? If you know what I mean, Brandon. I hope you're right. I hope the Warriors win. They play tonight. I'll be watching the game. I should do a live whatnot while we watch the game. That'd be cool. Um, if I didn't have to ship so many cards, I might do it. Uh, so what was I going to ask? I was going to ask you. Oh, so yes, I went to a Warriors game. I've seen him play and against the Thunder back when Durant was on the team. He wasn't playing because he was hurt, but I got to see him play. It was a pretty fun game. Russ and and Curry started jawing at each other, and then Curry hit like a halftime long distance three. And he also, he dunked or he fell. He dunked it, and then I think he also fell that game. But I was at that game, really fun. And then – like a couple months ago when I got my doctorate, my wife, we celebrated by going to California. And so we saw Golden State play the Lakers. And so it was cool. It was like two games after LeBron broke the record. He was an actor. I was an actor? Yes. In what? He was in Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah. Like 10 or 12 years ago, I was in, uh, when I was a teacher, a high school teacher, um, one of my students' older brothers was doing like a, a film. He was in film school. And he had me play in it, and it's called Foot Trackers. I think it's on YouTube. I'm absolutely terrible in it, but my name's Sam. And but I he did a front flip. What card do I think will increase in price? That's the thing. I think the safest bets are obviously the GOATs, Steph, LeBron, Jordan. They're like, and you know, Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron. Those are like the GOATs. They're never going to go down in popularity, I don't think. Um, their, their, their records will never be, never be, their records will never be worse. Literally doing the Gwitty in the I end of it. I know. And, okay, so this binder is pretty stacked, so I'm actually going to start a new binder. Um, he's literally doing a gwitty. Yes. Um. Yes. So this binder, I think, is complete. And then we're starting – excuse me, sir. We're going to start a basketball binder numero dos. We saved the, I didn't push you. We're going to save the front page for faves. So if we get faves, we'll toss them in there. But uh, your question is, what do I think will increase in price? You've got to take bets. This McGrady rookie, it's one of the coolest rookie cards. That's a clear metal. I'm putting it on there. Will EP, him and Jordan Poole, I invested in both of them. One of them turned out better. So I always put those in there to remember my poor purchase. There's a little EP and Draymond Green. You know, Eric Pascal, there was a little – I think he was in the top three for rookie of the year because, you know, the Warriors were tanking that year. You know, and they ended up getting Wiseman. So he got to play a lot. It's an old-school Harlem Globetrotters card. 
Um, so Pablo Robinson is what it says, Robertson. So he did really well. Him and Poole got a lot of playing time, and Pascal scored a lot more. That's a Nash rookie. So, you know, keep that in mind. I don't know why I said that. Um, what was the question? Who will go up? You got to take chance on rookies. And here's what I do. Whenever I go in on rookies, I pick rookies. Look at this. Little Shaq, Kobe. They won the championship. Oh, yeah. Your shoes are for sale. My shoes are not for sale. Yes, that, we'll toss a little LeBron James on the front page. They say it. They have a tag on them. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to crinkle up. And so is your seat. There we go. We're going to put that right there. I love that card. That's a cool one. Award winner. All right. Let's see. I want to answer those questions, too. I think it will go up. Which one were you talking about? Um, the Jefferson? I bet the Jefferson will. Especially when the, I mean, when the season starts. What's my best NBA card, by the way? I'm a Brunson fan. I had a few Brunson Prism uh, rookies. This is my best card, uh, probably. Uh, Brunson rookies, graded by SGC, and I sold them at a show. A Someone brush your teeth with soda. Do you have any KD? I don't have any KD autos. I need to get, I need to get some KD autos. Um, that would be sick. I, I do. KD is one of my favorite players. I got a lot of his numbered stuff, a lot of his rookies. I'm going to put this. This is going to be a little LeBron James page right here. I'm going to make this a little LeBron page. Can I see the DeMar? Yeah, we'll go through. Remind me near the end. I'll go through. I'll, it's in the other binder. I got to find it. But I've got a DeMar rookie. I'll go find it. How many uh, points do I think Curry's going to drop? I think they want to close out because anything can happen in game seven, as the, the Warriors know from firsthand experience against the Cavs. I think that I think I, my guess. I think he's going to drop 40. That's my prediction. I think he's going to hit 40. I think he wants to close this thing out, go home, get a couple days rest, and then, you know, play the Lakers or Memphis. That's my – in the comments. Do you think it's going to be the Lakers or do you think it's going to be Memphis? And then do you think it's going to be Warriors? Ooh, look at that. That's a sick LeBron. Um, what do I think of the Texas Rangers team this year? They have Corey Seager. I don't watch a lot of modern baseball, so I'm not going to be my, – my opinion wouldn't be very good. I would be like – Texas Rangers. Um, I like Nolan Ryan. Hey, what's your favorite NFL team? I don't have a favorite team in the NFL. You know, I like good storylines. So when Brady was playing, I thought it was a good storyline. You know, seeing an all-time great play, I would have loved for him to keep doing cool stuff. Um, hold on. Let me – I need my right hand. Ah, oh, your buddies are a waste of my time. Okay. You're saying JTB Sharks said, I have the entire 92 Skybox set, which is around 600. Oh, Really? I wouldn't think that uh, you're talking about Skybox basketball. I don't think there's any high price cards in there. I don't think it's a, Your putties I could be are wrong. a waste of my time. Putty? A putties. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. Putties hey, when are you're the saying, things that hey, attack. When you the say power random users. stuff, it's hard to carry the conversation on. You gotta keep I, it. It wasn't the random topic. stuff. Okay. Putties are what the power what is what the Power Rangers find. Those little those little gray things that that go like this. What is my favorite rookie card of all time? I think probably the, the MJ. MJ's like, that's iconic. That's an iconic card. So it's like, that's hard to beat. So I, if I had to vote, I'd probably say the MJ. Giannis has good value. Yes. Actually listed. I've got it listed way too high, but I've got a Giannis Crusade rookie SGC 10. I bought it for a couple hundred. And so I think it sells for like 350 now. So I got it listed at like 550 best offer. So Hoping nobody buys it. If I've ever got a card listed too high or whatnot, um, it's because I don't want to sell it. But, you know, not I mean I wouldn't, but I don't want to. Katie, Jersey cards. No, I don't think I do. I need to get one. I need to get some. I need to step up my KD game. I've got a lot of numbered stuff from him. A lot of his rookies. I need to step up, get a jersey and an auto. Uncanny's thinking the Lakers are going to win this series. Does anybody agree with Uncanny Swag? Who, by the way, has Uncanny Swag? Everybody knows it. Uncanny Swag. Uh, Finn said, I just bought a 2020 Panini Contenders draft picks, Laurie Market, and one on one printing plate for 40. And you live in Australia? Dope. Australia. That's where Tyson Beck, you know, who we, we roll with Tyson Beck, he's from Australia. And Australia, like I just bought, uh, what was it? I bought some from Australia. It was a JJ Reddick autograph card. I paid too much for it, but I bought it because it's numbered out of 25. It's probably like a twenty dollars card. I bought it for like thirty five plus fifteen shipping because it's coming from Australia. You're gonna do a cartwheel. Watch but the, oh, yeah, what? sick cartwheel. Ooh, you're getting better at those. Um, the reason I bought it is because I have the one of one JJ Reddick printing plate from that card. So what I recommend if you have a printing plate, go buy the card that it printed. I think that's a cool pair. Warriors and Celtics in the finals, and Warriors. 
that would be sweet to see them play again, to be honest with you. I would love that. You have a Tom Brady rookie card that was given to you, but Mojo, uh, by the way, go check him out. Mojo, are you talking about Jay? Um, I actually met Jay. I played in the um, in Culture Collision card show in Atlanta. Um, I got picked up. Card Collector 2 didn't show, and so I got the chance. Juan Hernandez, I got that because of the movie Hustle. Bo Cruz, baby. Um, if you ever – or say if I ever – I met him because he ended up being, I played for Team West, and I was on Jay's team. I'm not going to lie. He was a super nice dude. I really liked him, you know. Can't say that about every single one of the creators. Yeah, they were all super nice dope. I know. Don't touch it. That scares me. Yeah, well, don't touch it, okay? Hey, here's a LeBron James and a Curry card you can have. If you Where? Want. Where? You can have both of these, the Curry and LeBron. <laughs> um, have I or will I do card auctions? I've done one. What not live card show, and I plan on doing some more. So if you want, click the link on tarpercards.com. I've got a link in the description. Check it out, follow me, and then when I go live, you should get a notification. So I would love to hang out with y'all on a whatnot. I've got a bunch of NBA, NFL, other stuff, and I'm gonna sell them. I just haven't yet. I'm gonna start going live soon. Soon we'll start going live on whatnot. So go in there and I would love to hang out. Do I have any Russ? Talking about Russell Westbrook or Bill Russell? Because I don't have either of their jersey cards. I've got a few Russell Westbrook um, rookie cards, but none of his none of his jersey cards. JTB said, I got an RPA Steph Curry, Steph Son Curry, and graded it, and I got a PSA 10. Do you know what that's worth? If it's a rookie patch auto, Steph Curry, I mean, that's worth, I mean, Tens of thousands of dollars, if not a hundred thousand dollars. If it's a Steph Curry rookie patch autograph, it'd be worth PSA 10, it'd be hundreds of thousands of dollars because I think his RPA of National Treasure is eight and a half, sold for like a few million. So it's worth a lot of money. Josh Giddy, Australian, is a green. Oh, yeah, Jay Gidster. We used to, I used to collect Josh Giddy. I haven't collected him in a while, um, just because I'm trying to trim down my stuff and I was collecting a lot of base, so I'm trying to trim him down, but uh, yeah. So I'm trying to trim that down. Ravens fanboy. Shout out my next short. Yeah, I'll try to do that unless I forget. Uh, leave a comment. It helps me remember. There's a Rajon and a Kyle Lowry. Little, uh, there's that's a blue. It's a, they're both rookies. Um, college jerseys. This is a Chris Paul rookie card. It's like literally bent right there. So I just was like, you know what? I'm not a huge Chris Paul fan. But uh, Chris Paul rookie, we'll toss it in there. Do I have a website? Yeah. Hey, bud. Don't do that. Don't knock over those chairs. Yeah. Look at this gold wave, JJ Reddick. I like his podcast, my... so I listen to his stuff. You almost broke my life. I know, buddy. I'm trying to do the live, so let's stay focused, okay? Then we got a Tim Duncan, Danny Fortson rookie. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. I do have a website, tarvercards.com. I've got, it's really just links to like different stuff. And so like different companies will reach out to me and they're like, hey, we'll give you an affiliate link. And so like, mm -hmm. If you want to sign up for whatnot, if you go through my link on tarpercards.com, you get $15 off your first purchase. I've got a drip link. I think you get $10 or $15 off your first purchase. Zion card cases, like to collect your cards, if it's your first purchase and you go through my link, you get 10% off that. So it's like a link where, you know, and I get a, like a little percentage on those things. And so that's kind of cool, but no pressure. You don't have to buy whatever you want and whatever you can afford. So no pressure. Look at that. Little Anthony... I'm actually trying to collect the blue version of this for every player. Uh, the tough one's going to be Steph Curry because that's his rookie and that's going to be expensive. I almost bought one. It was like 800 It was a PSA 7. Um, I almost bought it at a show. I was actually going to try to trade the dude, but then he left. He wasn't interested. They are like, oh, he'll come by your table. And they don't come by your table. Uh, RPA, Steph's ungraded it. Graded a uh, gym 5, what I think it could be worth. I mean, RPA Steph Curry cards, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars every time. Do you have any basketball auto on ball on a ball? Baseball auto on ball. Um, I think I can answer Bobby Portis. That's a numbered one. Yeah, it's numbered at a one ninety nine. I got that for a dollar. Um, I do have a baseball. How's that? There's a Mickey Mantle autograph baseball. So my grandmother gave me that. I need to get it certified, see if it's real. But that's a baseball I got signed. I don't think I have any other cool ones. Here's a Lou Will, Lou Williams numbered rookie card out of seventeen fifty. That's pretty sweet. Picked up a Dallas car show for a dollar. Please don't make noise in the background, fan. You can head out if you want to just make noise, okay? Um, let's see. Let's see, hello, LT Cards. How you living? How you doing? 
Then we got ordered uh, LT car said I ordered a Kobe rookie on Monday last week. It still hasn't come in. I'm high for it though. Which one is it? I, I collect Curry or wait, Kobe rookies. And so I'd love to know which one you have. That'd be dope. The best Kobe, the most expensive Kobe rookie I have is probably my PSA 10 tops. Um, look at this. This is signed by a kid named Tough Blackwell, Eric Pascal. He, uh, this kid, he saw me at the Nashville card show, asked me to sign a card. And so I asked him to sign a card and he signed this one. So that's cool. If I ever see y'all show, holler at me. There is a Jacob Evans III rookie out of 75. Collect, I collect Warriors rookie cards that have like, that are numbered or patch or whatever. So toss that in there. Yeah. Finn said, with a one one I bought a 2008 Topps Coast Signers Derrick Rose jersey. Ooh, people yeah. still love D. Rose. Austin Reeves, he's from Arkansas. He's been hooping. Yes, sir. Want to see in my jersey? Yes. I can make a pencil. Okay. That's from that is from Batman. Look, there's an orange Durant. It's not numbered. Can you see my hockey? Dude, I have barely any hockey cards. I need to get some. I need to get you some. let me watch it, too. I did not let you watch. Me. I did not let you watch Batman. There's yes, another Pat. How, Pat Bev. This is, please. Um, this is Pat Bev card. It's numbered out of, it's number one out of 75. Pat Bev is from Ark, or he went and played Arkansas. from Chicago, but he played. I actually saw him play. It's like the only Razorback basketball game I've ever been to. And Pat Bev was in his freshman year. He was a hooper in college. And um, so, yeah, there you go. There's a Tim Duncan. I'm pretty sure that's a rookie. Yeah, Tim Duncan rookie. That's worthy of front page, I think. If you guys see any cards I pull out and you're like, that's a front pager. You know what? I think Pat Bev deserves to be front page, and so does Golden State. We're putting both of those front page. Because I'm a Golden State fan, so it feels like it's only appropriate. I like to keep, you know, special cards for the front page. We'll put these all across the bottom since they joined us in the same. And we'll go Timmy D, rookie, and then Golden State right there. All right. Back into it. Hey, Dad, look. I measure when she does that trick where she goes forward. And yeah, let's not do that. There, yeah. There's a yeah, Harrison well, Barnes I, red prism. I'm, I'm reversing my legs. Yeah. Hey, hold on, buddy. I'm going to do this. Watch. Then I bought a ton of Wiseman, and then whenever he left the Warriors, I got rid of him. But I kept that one. I love that 75th. Um, I actually sold an Alfred SGC 10 of that. I uh, traded it. Show him some RPA cards. Do you have any? RPA, rookie batch autos. Who do I got rookie RPAs? I got some Warriors I could show you guys. Um, I'm gonna, You know what? I'm going to save that for another video. I want to do, like, videos that are, like, geared towards that, but – Remind me on some videos if I don't show you on the next like week or so, I'll do a live and we'll do it. We'll skybox. It's a rookie. You can get Garnett rookies for like a dollar. They're criminally, criminally. Does my online card shop ship to Australia? I don't know, man. Check out, check out whatnot. See if it does. I've done an international shipping. I bet it does because I've done an international shipping. So go on there and get fifteen dollars off. Rui's another player that I just randomly started liking. So I bought a bunch of his rookies. I actually, have one of his jerseys. We saw. We were in D.C. on a family vacation, and I watched, look at that. There's a Dennis Rodman Legends. It's numbered out of two ninety nine. dollars a sweet card. And Finn, Titus, Ezra, and myself, we went and saw the – Rui wasn't playing, but I bought his jersey at the game. They were playing the Hornets, so we got to see LaMelo Ball play. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, I collect baseball, so I collect mid-'90s Braves. I collect mid-'90s Braves, Fred McGriff, Ron Gant, Greg Maddox, Chipper Jones – I collect all, collect all theirs. I'm going to do um, a binder of those. I just organized Wait, them. Don't, don't you um, play? Uh, don't you have... Uh, uh, Jerome, Warrior. What? Wait, on baseball? Look at this Jimmy B. Jimmy Buck has been hoping. That's a cool one. I bet that card is doing pretty well right now. I bet that card's doing well. I, need, I bought a bunch of... I've got a Jimmy uh, Butler rookie. Don't yes, sir. you have Hank Aaron? Yeah, I got some Hank Aaron cards. Yeah. And then I've got Jackie Robinson, too. They're two of my favorite. They're older baseball. Good, good remembering, Ken. Good job. Can you keep this? Can I keep that? Yeah, I'll I keep did, it. Yeah. No one did comments about my four wheelers. You have a card of every QB in the draft. I just sold a out of 99 Bryce Young auto golden boy. I just put it on eBay, listed at like 199 and somebody just bought it. It was like 215 bucks. So I'm waiting on them to pay. I'll ship that thing out. So Cade Cunningham. Yeah, Cade's good, man. Cade's a hooper. Everybody forgetting on Cade. Everybody's sleeping on Cade because he got hurt at the end of the year and the Pistons were trying to tank. But I think next year, you know, you've got Wiseman on the team trying to prove something. You've got Cade trying to prove something. I think they're going to be a force if they don't try to tank again. 
Thank you. Yeah, I love that. That disco disco cards are just underrated. I love them. Wait, do you have to be live for me to buy cards? No, you can go. You can buy. I've got a store. So if you go to my whatnot store, I've got I've got cards for sale. If you if they're too high, you're like because the prices change all the time, you can always do a best offer. Like you can offer me something for them. But yeah, they're all in there, and I ship them out. But yeah, I don't have to be live. You can go buy them in the store. There's a Carmelo rookie. Let's see. Do I trade? Ah, you know I'll trade at shows. I don't trade. This is a certification for my Brandon Ingram auto I bought from Tyson Beck. Australian dude. Um, I, I'll trade at shows. I've gotten burned on a couple trades. Dudes didn't send me the cards, and I lost like a Kobe rookie. Some dude, you know, was ripping people off, and he ripped me off, so that was fun. Um, he was not great. Ooh, a Dirk. You know what? Is that a Dirk auto? Not auto, but I mean rookie, 98. Was Dirk an auto or a rookie in 98? That might, if that's a rookie, it might go in the front. This is a sick card. Look at that. Rookie patch auto of Mike Dunleavy. Zach gave me that card. That's going to go in the front. Here's another Warriors auto. I collect Warriors autos. There's a Nico Manon. That's going in there. And then it says Rick. This is a pretty good one. Rick Barry. That'll go in the front. I'm putting that on the front page. Then we got a Taco Fall, because why not? Everybody was on that Taco Fall train for a while. His cards still go pretty high. I'm trying to click that Fresh Paint auto series, and he goes pretty high. Let's see. Well, Dylan Brooks. I got no stuff. My buddies and I, we have a card group text. And there's a little stuff. Thank you, sir. We have a card group text, and Dylan Brooks is kind of like, because one of them's a big Memphis fan. Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell. Thank you, sir. Jordan Bell Silver. Another one I bought a lot of rookie cards of that didn't pan out. Del right. Curry. Del Curry auto. This is from uh, this auto. That's from Zach as well. So it's pretty sweet. What's my next live I'm going to do? You know, I'll probably do another binder. Um, I've got, I'm trying to get those, all those cards in my PC binders. So I'll probably do like probably a baseball binder. You know, this is basketball. feels like that'd Eric. be a problem. AP, Eric Pascal. I need to do a, I'm going to do a Warriors auto page. That's coming up. So we'll put DiVincenzo. I got a DiVincenzo rookie. Pretty much if they play on the Warriors or they are like drafted by the Warriors, I try to get their cards. Let's put oh, them in there. Nolan Ryan, one oh, of one with Clemente. That's a sick. That's got to be a good pick. How much is that card worth? I'd love to know how much now, that this runs. This is a good card. Yeah? Is that a good card? Who is that? It's a Warrior. It is a – is that Chris Weber? Nope. Dikembe Mutombo. It's a – he's played for the Nuggets. I got thrown off. said the Warrior. And they're naming the Warrior, and he's on the Nuggets. I feel like they could have done better there. I don't know if this is. Got a uh, – this is a <laughs> – this certifies that this C.J. McCollum card is by Tyson Beck. So we're going to toss that Bryant. That's a Kobe. We can toss that in there. Thank you, sir. A little Kobe Bryant card. Bought that for a dollar the other day. What's my favorite, most expensive rookie auto? Good question. Um, I'd have to look on my phone. I'd have to look on my card ladder and see. So a little Dennis Rodman insert. Thought that was pretty sick. Picked that up the other day. I just pick up cards, too, that I think look cool. And I also do like Rodman. My buddy, Chris, he's a huge Rodman collector. And so he kind of got me on the Rodman train. That sleeve is too big. So it's going to have to go gonna have to go favorite player to collect i mean michael jordan i've got a bunch of his a few thousand of his little vince carter i think i bought that on card shop live from tim um probably michael jordan i do like jordan Poole as well and steph curry those are all three i pretty much pick up any jordan Poole rookie i can doesn't matter how cheap or if i can afford it expensive little Allen iverson action and then um let's see who else jordan Poole. Not Jordan, Jordan Poole, Michael Jordan, my two favorites to pick up. I pick those up every time. I get really excited when I get those. Thanks. Just subbed in. Thank you so much. I hope you find some cards in there you like on the whatnot, tarvacards.com. And make a comment about my four wheeler. Yeah, he wants a comment about his four wheeler. All right, we'll but start. I want you to like it. We'll start this. The Warriors actually picked this dude up. He was like a, you know, an incredible lacrosse player in college. One of like, I think he was like the best lacrosse player in college. And then the Warriors picked him up in summer league. So I bought a few of his cards, and then they dropped him. So he does not play for the Warriors anymore. There's a piece of tape for you. Sorry about that. Toss some tape on your head. So I picked his name's Pat Spencer. He's got a really cool story, but he don't play for the Warriors anymore. But um, his cards aren't worth anything, so I'm going to toss them in here. So I got three of those. I didn't know I had two of those pink ice autos. And I see it. Then we got a Nico Manning, and then we'll throw in this Eric Pascal auto. Let's throw that in, too. So this I will have be our, to rip it off. Okay. Deal. It'll pull off. Didn't hurt. Yeah! Didn't hurt. Ah! Okay, throw it in the trash. You put that on my mouth. I, I would put this one, but I think that's a front cover. I don't want to eat 
see a 95 Jordan Peele auto. Hair. Yeah, I've got five or six of those. Okay, so we're going to put this Rick Barry in the front because, of course, why not? I haven't looked lately, but I'm sure it's around 1,000 to 5,000. Man, that's crazy. Is it graded? Did you say it was graded? I couldn't remember. Bye, Dad. Love the videos. I appreciate that next level ninja. I'm going to open this one up. This one's sealed. It's got to go in here. It's got to go in the binder. This is from my guy, Zach, so we'll PC it forever. Let's see. It was sealed up. Maybe I should have just sent it off to get... It's my... It's not super expensive, I don't think. Oh, my gosh. How do you open this thing? Uh, best four-wheeler ever. What's the best four-wheeler ever? I, I honestly don't know how to get this out of here. Sorry. I've lost complete focus on what I was doing. There we go. Um, nice four... Oh, y'all are... <laughs> It threw me off. I forgot he asked y'all to say something nice about his four-wheeler. Thank you for saying something nice. I'll tell him y'all said that. This is numbered out of $9.99. It is a Mike Dunleavy. I need to toss that in a sleeve. I don't want to get messed up with that auto. So we'll toss that in a sleeve, baby, baby. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to stay focused. Sometimes what I do on these, if I don't want it to get, like, pinched, I'll, like, rip it right there so it's easier to slide the card in. Whoops. Whoops. Just like that. And now we have it in there. Not a bad front page. I still got room for one more if I find one that I like. And there you go. Thank you guys for joining me. That's all the ones I was going to put in there now. Um, so we got our second binder started. Went through it. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I hope to do this more often. If you want to hang out, hit that subscribe button. That'd be sick. Um, again, if you want $15 off, uh, I've got some cards for sale. Or you get $15 off even if you don't find anything in my store you like. You can get $15 off your first purchase from anyone's store. So just search the marketplace. And uh, yeah, there you go. I appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. Look at this. Boom. I'm not going to put that in the binder. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. This is fun. I love chatting with you guys, talking, doing lives. And uh, yeah, just really appreciate hanging out and uh, being card collecting BFS. Y'all be good. Stay sweet. Never stop collecting. Thank you guys. Hey, happy birthday, Next Level Ninja. Happy birthday!